It is now time to turn to our question segment, and I will ask the first question. It will go first to Congressman Todd Aiken. The Missouri Senate race was thrust into the national spotlight last month after a remark that Congressman Aiken made about women's bodies having ways of avoiding pregnancy in cases of legitimate rape. The Congressman has apologized repeatedly. So to what extent should this comment still matter? And in what context do you think voters should consider it on Election Day? Well, I've answered this question repeatedly. And um, I don't believe that this election overall is about talk, but it's really about two visions of what America is. Are we going to go down the path of Greece that constantly has a bigger government, always taxing more and basically destroying their economy? Or are we going to go the path that America has always been on, a path where we allow freedom, where we allow the American dream to flourish, where we don't crush it under the burden of Washington, D.C.? And that's the choice of two different Americas. Now, it seems to me that what a senator should be doing is taking the common sense that you and I know that's here in Missouri and taking that to Washington, D.C. instead of dragging all of this stuff from Washington, D.C. and dumping it onto the state of Missouri and killing jobs, destroying our economy, and crushing the American dream. That's what this election is really about. It's not about words. It's about two different voting records that are the exact opposite. Claire can say that she's a 50 percenter, but when you vote with 98 percent of the time with Obama and then tell us that you're a regular middle of the roader, that takes a lot of guts. I've got to give her credit for that. Claire McCaskill, to what extent should the comments still matter and to what, in what context do you think voters should consider it on Election Day? You know, I think um, Congressman Aiken's comments um, opened the window to his views for Missourians. He has apologized for those comments, but they say a lot about how he views things, and that's where Missourians need to pay attention. Um, I believe a rape victim should be allowed to have emergency contraception in order to avoid pregnancy. Todd Aiken does not. I believe his view is extreme and out of the mainstream for most Missourians. But there's other extreme views. He wants to abolish the minimum wage, the floor for the middle class in this great country. He wants to do away with student loans. Think what would happen to Columbia, Missouri, if the only kids who could get college loans were the rich kids, the only kids who could go to college were the rich kids or the talented athletes or the superstar academics. He wants to privatize Medicare, privatize Social Security. He wants to do away with the student lunch program he is one of a handful, I think there were four or five members of the United States Congress that voted to eliminate the child nutrition program. I think the vote was something like 416 to 5. I don't think that's the mainstream compromise, willing to fix problems attitude that we need to send to Washington. All that's going to do is contribute to more gridlock. So it's not what he said that is the problem. It's what he believes that's the problem. Jonathan Dine. Like many of you, I found Aiken's comments insulting and insensitive to the victims of rape, just insinuating that their, their, their crime or their victimize was not in some sense legitimate. I believe it, it shows that career politicians have grown too secluded in Washington and have forgotten what life is like outside of politics. I was astonished to find that Aiken sits on the science committee, yet he fails to understand basic eighth grade biology. What I